I just want to give you a few practical examples from my own experience of how you might spot haemorrhage when you're on the wards. Well, obviously, wound drains, they're designed to take blood out of wounds, but we need to look at the quality of the blood, how much blood there is, and how quickly that blood is escaping. Is it what we would expect for that wound, or is there less, or is there more than we would expect? And of course, we need to chart it because the patient needs a fluid balance chart kept and we need to take a cumulative total of how much blood the patient is losing over a period of time. We need to do that as we examine what is coming out of wound drains. And it's the same with dressings, at dressing changes. Is there blood on the dressings? Is the patient losing blood? How much blood is the patient losing? Observation as we change dressings. Urine banks are another one. Is the patient losing blood in the urine? I've come across patients losing quite large amounts of blood in the urine, and that has been a clinical feature that they are over-prescribed anticoagulants. It's just these basic observations when you're in clinical areas that can indicate that there's something going on. And another time I've seen blood, especially in confused patients, is on bed rails. As the patient grabs bed rails, blood gets from their hands onto the bed rails. And you're walking past and you just see some blood on the bed rail. Then you go to the bed and you see there's blood on the patient's hands. And then when you pull back the bed sheet, you might find there's a pool of blood somewhere. Disconnected cannulas. So if the intravenous tube comes out of the cannula, that cannula's open. And especially if the patient's arm is down the way, a lot of blood can run out. And I've certainly been walking to a patient's bed and slipped on the floor on the way because there's been a pool of blood from a disconnected cannula, meaning that that patient hadn't really been observed for a period of time. So always make sure all the connections are, are well tightened up, especially if it's a confused patient who can't report things to you as a more lucid patient would. During patients going to toilet, we need to see if there's any blood on the toilet floor or on the seat or look into the bowl and see if there's any blood from the urine or the faeces or the rectum which is collected in the bowl of the toilet. Basic observations, but if we don't make them, we can easily miss something. And bedding, when we're changing bedding, is there any spots of blood or larger amounts of blood? Where are they coming from? What does it mean? Bleeding is pathological, haemorrhage is abnormal, it needs to be explained.